and welcome. I'm Zionier, and here we are playing Space Engineers, and a mining carriage is flying in. This is the lowest tier under the uh, mining category of random cargo ships. I have uh, installed a mod that changes the skybox. I just didn't like the uh, the asteroid one. It was slightly confusing because, you know, I would look around and be like, where are the actual asteroids? You know, and why is the universe apparently so bright? Uh, I still might change it again, but that I'm not entirely sure on. I do need to figure out which side of this ship is the side with the gun. Because there's one gun on the mining carriage, and I need to avoid it. Now... The fun part is going to be figuring out where that is. Ooh. 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 No, 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 <sighs> okay, so, the way to figure out which side the gun is on is the gun is on the antenna side of the ship, which is good to know. I thought for sure I was going to die there. I, I had to tear down the thing that I said I was going to work on, the, uh, the front bit with all the welders and stuff, because unfortunately in order to make that function, I'm apparently going to have to do some s kind of serious workaround that's just not feasible right now with the landing gear broken. Uh, landing gear's a bit odd though, like if I save and load back in, it will work, but it's too unreliable for me to build something around right now and what I mean by that is oh yeah that looks much better uh, what I mean by that is I can't I'll have to build basically a ship inside of a ship that's the way that would have to work I would have to build a ship within a ship in order to be able to actually repair and obviously that comes with some you know downsides that I can't really do anything about and luckily the mining carriage does actually have a high speed uh, now this actually has a Gatlin turret which is good because it means I can actually obtain a type of ammo I want stop 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 okay uh, So I'm approximately there, so it's approximately two. What? 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 Why did that just happen? And why did I not spawn in the medical bay? Because you clicked on spacesuit. I know I clicked on spacesuit. Don't be rude. Anyhow. I need to figure out how I'm going to get to the gun without getting annihilated. Now, I know it's on the antenna side, and I can clearly see the antenna from here. So if I circle around this side, I should be once again safe. Now... The mining carriage contains mostly ores, and I think it actually contains like a decent amount of uh, um, uranium, maybe. I know it contains uranium ore, which will help. Uh, I think there's like 30-ish uranium between those two reactors. 
I'd be real careful because if I do this from the wrong spot, because I've done it too many times on my little like test situation. If I come at the can you shoot down this far? Got you. Um, what was I saying? I did it uh, too many times where I would, when trying to get to the turret safely. Oh yeah, check out that NATO ammo. Actually, you can stay in there because I'm just gonna FedEx this whole thing straight into the grinder array. Uh, speaking of which, I added a remote control and an antenna. Was there anything in my body? I think that armor block right there, or maybe one of those, is what's holding this entire thing together, so... Oops. I don't want to repair it, I want to tear it down, see if I can't force the body out that way. Huh, well I can gain access to this, and then the body will exit when I fly, very good. So I added a... Uh, turret. You're wasting all that ammo. Stop. I can completely turn it off. Why didn't I do that before? But, as I was saying, I put a remote control and an antenna down. Uh, both of the, the remote control I made manually, but the antenna I harvested from a business shipment. And there's a very good reason why I did that. But why I put them down, that is. And once I can get this in here. Trying to line this up while also at an angle is uh, a bit funky. Okay, okay, okay. Now, oh, not that way. Send this this way. God, don't tell me I broke some. No, 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 they look fine. Oh, 
I'll probably expand the grinding array at some point, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to work with what I have here. But the reason why I added the uh, antenna is now I can select this and just turn the grinder array on manually. So then I can do something like... Oops. Point six should be perfect. So I can turn the grinding array on remotely and I don't have to actually go get in the seat. So this should work. It's going to be flying at a slight angle, but it shouldn't really matter. Uh, put all this stuff in here. set to disassembling. The conveyor system is turned on for everything, so there we go. And the refinery should, yes, it is automatically getting these. Uh, this right here, magnesium ore, this is going to basically solve all of the magnesium. Uh, apparently there's not as much uranium as I hoped. Unless it happens to pick up more, but I don't, I don't think it's really going to at this point. Oh, okay, never mind. I lied. So there's about 20 uranium in a mining carriage, plus whatever I'll get out of the uranium ore. 165. I'll just let that process. Uh, I maybe should make an arc furnace. Because uh, the arc furnace will be able to process. Uh, I think it's cobalt, iron, and one other. Maybe like silver? I'm not sure. But. I don't know. I might just let it break everything down. I have opted to turn on some of the mods. I'm not using that Paladin Shielding mod because it's buggy, it's hard to work with, it functions oddly. Uh, there's a sort of landing gear type mod I might put in, although I haven't decided on that one. But unless there's a hotfix I missed, like I won't be able to use this. Like, when I put this down, it's not going to automatically lock it. Did I not turn off the grinding array? I'm confused as what I probably turned off at this point. Nothing. Okay. Oh. I thought I'd put construction components in my inventory. I don't quite understand what's going on right now. I am actually quite deeply confused. And it appears in the uh, storage containers there was more ammo, so I'm going to end up with actually quite a bit of magnesium just from that. Uh, how much extra uranium did we get? We only got about one, but we're getting a lot of magnesium to work with. Like, this is going to break down into a lot of magnesium. So we're actually really good on that front. I wanted to get a small ship started. Uh... Disable the conveyor system for those. Enable it for you. So I'm going to 
One of the things I put in allows me to build a number of things on a small ship. So I can essentially design a small ship that is a large ship. That may not make a whole lot of sense. I don't feel like going after a private sale. That may not make a whole lot of sense, but like if I look in here normally, for example, this is not available for a small ship, but it is now. So I can build a small ship using some of these new thrusters. Uh, I don't know about these ones, but they're massive, like absolutely massive massive and like 20 thruster components for a thruster on a small ship that's a lot of components i'm going to assume the power requirements are just as high but there's also a new arc reactor which the small ship one is super expensive like it don't even acknowledge what it says for the amount of reactor components those reactor components are grotesquely expensive like the iron cost alone to make one of these arc reactors is like 5,000 for a small ship and like 108,000 iron for a large ship. But man, the small ship reactor is 70 megawatts of like output. It is insane, but so is the resource cost. Like, I, I need to put this into perspective for you, okay? We'll go here, right? So, we'll find the large reactor in here, that would be this. It's cost 5,000 iron, you know, 2,000 gravel, 1,000, you know, silver, 10 nickel, 10 cobalt, some silicon, and some gold, right? And it outputs at something like, I think like 100 megawatts. Sounds about right. And... If we look at this, it costs 109,000 iron, 40,000 gravel, 20,000 silver, 200 nickel, 200 cobalt, 30 silicon, and 15 gold. Like, it is extremely expensive, so that is very cost balanced, for sure. Uh, but I do want to, I will, I'll shift click this. What? No. What? 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 Oh. 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 Yeah, never mind me. Yeah, do what you're doing. I confused the crap out of myself because I was like, why are you using so many? Uh, it's because I'm making small ship armor blocks, which cost five. But I think I'm going to make a small ship that's like a large ship, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I worded that very poorly, but the idea is there. But, yeah. What I am going to do... If I used merge blocks to combine, I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it. But I am going to get started on the small ship. In about 10 minutes. So. Now, the size of the flight seat is the size it is on a normal ship. Still, it's not like a mini cockpit. So I'm gonna make this five wide because I believe it's three wide and then I'm gonna make it longer I'm gonna put in like the cockpit and then try and build the ship around that maybe I'm gonna actually go for a really durable setup with this though by a really durable setup is 
I'm going to be building myself inside of, like, a hardened armor, like, unit, basically, that's too hardened, or too heavy armor thick. Uh, I don't remember if I put in the... Even if I did... Yeah. Oh, but it's only available for a large ship. Look at the steel plating. That is the reinforced high-tech armor. That is a lot of plating. And there's this, which is only 250, but that's still twice as much as heavy armor, and I think the durability is double, so like, it'd be the equivalent of creating a double up on uh, heavy armor. Which, I believe, doubling up's good enough, but it's only available for the large ship. So, there's that. Uh, I do want to reduce... Now, here's the only downside. Most of these don't actually put in what they're supposed to. If that makes any sense. Like, I'll have to make the large ship equivalent. Place the stu the uh, place it down, and then break down what's remaining. And then another issue is that the azimuth, az uh, azimuth, azimuth, azimuth uh, thrusters don't show up in that either. So mods are a bit. I don't want to say unreliable, but they're a bit odd, to say the least. Uh, flight seat. So I'm most likely going to place this behind a barricade too thick. I'll start it here. Uh, are you only too wide? Well, that's offsetting matters a little bit. No, there's no way that's only too wide. I must have built this wrong. No, no, no. That, that's six wide, and it's more or less centered. Okay. Whatever. And there's things like a small ship refinery, small ship assembler, and whatnot that I could put on here, but I'm not really too concerned about those. Nifty. What I do want is frontal shielding. ship by the way I had replaced it with a grinder when I was staring down that thing so there's nothing on it but which is an easy fix yeah So then I'll want to leave in enough room to walk to the sides. The closest design I ever got to withstanding uh, the full brunt assault of one of those ships. I didn't protect the thrusters enough, and they got hit by basically a stray gat set of Gatling bullets, and I lost my thrusters to it. So the ship got 
Oh, no, no. I didn't lose the thrusters. The thrusters were intact, but I lost my reactor. I'm not going to make that same mistake this time. And another cool thing is there's a... Gravity is disabled over here. Not disabled, but... There's small ship uh, gravity on uh, as one of the things you can get for this. So I can actually make it so I can stand inside the ship. But I'm likely going to need more power. So... Uh, okay, you know what? I'm sick of this crap. Production. Large ship. Where? Oh, where? You. Ten. If they get in the way, I might have to, like, destroy them, but for the meantime, this should work, and I should be able to actually access them through here. Oh. Platform 4882. Interior lights. Uh, you're good as being white. The radius of influence is now 10 meters. You're going to reduce the intensity. Yeah, that's one of the bugs with interior lights right now. The actual light source is off position. But that's okay. I can live with that. I'm using it primarily for seeing at the moment. Uh, let's go with 1.6. Cool. That gives us plenty of lighting over here, so I'm actually quite happy with that. Uh, probably gonna need more armor, and this thing's probably gonna need some really beefy thrusters, but it's essentially a large ship that's also a small ship, so I'm not expecting it to be cheap, if that makes any sense. I do, however, wish to put a welder back on this. So I'm just gonna weld this whole thing together right away. Production, small ship, welding. Looks like we've gotten through the magnesium. Decent bit of magnesium. Should be able to make a good number of bullets. these to make sure that I have things to build with. Okay. Power on, landing gear off. That's not good. I can fix this. Crap. 
clock. Let the ship stabilize it. Well, I slightly screwed it up, so this is obviously what I'm going to have to work with at the moment. But, uh, we are now beyond the point where I would like to stop. Uh, I think next time we're going to pick up with designing the ship, although I'm probably going to make a whole bunch of uh, steel plates and stuff in advance. And I have some ideas. Uh, partly, like, the glass and stuff is available for small ships with the one mod I put in, so that's going to be quite nifty. Now, I have... Oh, before we leave, I do have one other thing... I have a mod that implements a whole bunch of, like, custom ships, but I was thinking about waiting until after we've conquered all the default ships before adding it in. So, if anybody is opposed to that idea, or thinks I should just do it now, please let me know. Actually welding quite far over there. Hmm. Anyhow, I'm gonna call this good. I'm gonna probably weld the rest of this together. And then I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.